Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Amin Go. Uh, today, I will talk about the mitigation of hazardous birth mode in aluminum nitride MEMS resonance with silicon oxide addendums. The six text in my talk. At first, the, the background of all this work will, will, will be given. Then, I, I will I give a short introduction about the con conventional aluminum nitride MEMS resonance. Uh, then I will describe the surveillance mode and the mitigation and the mitigation techniques uh, to suppress the a zero surveillance mode. I will uh, present a new technique called mode shifting to shift the a zero surveillance mode far away from the intended SCR mode. Uh, then after that, I will describe the fabrication and give the comparison between the simulation and the measurement. Finally, uh, I will uh, conclude this work. I'd like to start by introducing the background of this work. Uh, at first, the pro proliferation of modern, wide, modern wireless communication requires more economical and frequent jar filters to, to access the crowded RF spectrum. Secondly, uh, existing F5 and the source solution have limitations. Uh, for example, for, for F5 solution, it, it is very difficult to implement monolithic filters with with different frequencies. And for source, for source solution, it, it has the issue of uh, low phase velocity and the modest, uh, and the modest scalability towards high frequencies. So instead, aluminum nitride laterally vibrating resonators are very uh, promising candidate for the front end, uh, for the next generation front end filtering. Uh, this is a, a device of the conventional aluminum nitride MEMS resonator. We can say uh, it uh, consists of three layers. The bottom layer usually metal, and the middle layer uh, aluminum nitride film, and the top layer we call it uh, interdigit tra inter tra transducers. And it has uh, ad advantage of high Q's, a very high uh, high high Q's uh, wafer level frequency di diversity and the same integration capability and the miniaturization. Here we give the a 3D simulated, here we give a 3D simulated uh, a response of the uh, of a typical aluminum resonance. We can see the major resonance is the uh, intended SCR mode. Uh, around the SCR mode, we can see an um, A0 mode here. And uh, in later slides, I, I, I will show this uh, A0 spurious mode will cause large in-band reports to the uh, compressing filters. So, and uh, on the right, we also show the phase velocity. We can see the A0, the S0 mode ha ha has a very high, uh, has a much higher phase velocity than the A0 mode. Uh, the conventional aluminum uh, nitride MEMS resonator often display uh, in-band in spherical mode here, and uh, this this in-band spherical mode uh, creates large in-band ripples and uh, out-band out-band Spirit out of balance, uh, out of balance response. So um, this uh, in band spirit response uh, are a major bottleneck in achieving high performance filter with the uh, uh, with the resonator. However, as we also see from from the figure, if we can shift the if we can shift the in band spirit mode far away from the band region, then the a severe in band spirit mode and uh, out of band spirit response can be uh, can be replaced by negligible out of band spirit response, and uh, this is also the basis of our mode shifting technique. Uh, to suppress uh, to suppress the spirit mode, some work from the pure group uh, involve using abdization technique and uh, adding a silicon oxide layer and uh, gapping the top gapping the top electrodes. However, all these will come at the cost of reducing the electromechanical coupling, and uh, they mainly focus on transverse spirit mode. Uh, for, the, for the longitudinal spirit mode, uh, recently our group uh, presented a new technique called mode conversion to convert the uh, AZ spirit mode to the intended SCR mode by opening a notch in the center of the resonant body. And uh, in this talk, I will uh, give a new technique called mode shifting to shift the a a spirit mode far away from the intended SCR mode. Uh, this is the device configuration of the mode with most uh, with a most shifting most with a most shifting technique. As we say, it is very similar to the to the uh, to the conventional one. The only difference is the two silicon oxide block at the two ends. Here, 
on this side and and on this side. Uh, the, the, silicon, the silicon oxide here uh, serves to shift the A0 and the SCR mode differently and uh, creates a large spectral spacing between the SCR mode and, the, and the, its neighboring A0 mode. Uh, we choose silicon oxide here uh, as the silicon, we choose silicon oxide as a material for the block due to two reasons. The first reason is that the uh, first velocity difference be, uh, between the A0 mode and the SCR mode in silicon oxide is very large and it can create a large spectral and, and that can uh, create a large spectral spacing between the two modes with, with silicon oxide of, of slight width. The second reason is that the phase velocity uh, between the S0 mode and the, uh, and the A0 mode in silicon, oxide, in silicon oxide is much smaller than, than in aluminum nitride, and which means uh, a given with a given a given spectral spacing between the two modes can be created by very small silicon oxide blocks. As a result, the mass loading effect from the silicon oxide can be minimized. Uh, to uh, to analyze the resonance shifting uh, from uh, in, uh, from the silicon oxide here, a very uh, a simple two D uh, a simple two D model is given here, and uh, we can see uh, from the picture uh, the the model divides the resonant in, into three parts, and the, the first one is a, a, a aluminum nitride in the center, and the two silicon oxide at, at the two ends. And uh, uh, the stress field, uh, 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 the, the stress field across the uh, across the resonant can be uh, can be described by these three expressions. And uh, uh, besides this, we also have two boundary conditions. The the first one is a boundary free. Uh, is a is a stress free boundary condition at the two ends, and the, the second one is a stress continuity boundary condition at the interface between the silicon oxide and the aluminum nitride. Uh, uh, um, by applying these two uh, boundary conditions to the to these three uh, explorations, we can find finally have the resonant equation for the resonant. By solving this equation, we can get the shifted. A resonant frequency for the S0 mode and the A0 mode. Uh, here we give the numeric solution for the resonance with, with different width of the silicon oxide, and the design parameters of this, of this resonance are given in the first table, and uh, the numeric solution are listed in the second table. Here, as we see from, from the second table, with uh, the A0, um, the A0 mode shifts much further than the S0 mode. For example, with two micron width of the silicon oxide block, the S0 mode moves only 4.1 megahertz, while S0, while A0 mode uh, moves at, moves as far as 90.8 megahertz, which means the A0 mode is completely moved far away from the S0 mode. Uh, the analysis and uh, numerous solution above assume uh, negligible uh, effects from the electrodes and the anchor design. So to have more accurate and uh, comprehensive analysis, 3D models in Covento were, were, were built uh, to, to, to investigate the resonance shifting. Uh, here we give the response for the 3D simulation and uh, the A0 model here is identified by checking the mode shape and uh, the resonance shifting are listed in the right table. As we see from the right table, the A0 mode shifts much further. For example, with two micron width of the silicon oxide block, the A0 mode shifts only 2.8 megahertz, while A0 mode shifts as far as 14 megahertz, which is much larger than the shifting of the A0 mode. Uh, also, we, can, uh, we conclude the KD square here, and we see by, by attaching the silicon oxide, um, we, we we didn't find any uh, degree, uh, decrease of the KD square. Uh, to verify that, to verify that the uh, taking some resonant width and uh, without silicon oxide block were fabricated, and uh, here we give the fabrication flow. As we see, the fabrication flow uh, starts with the platinum deposition on a high retinal silicon substrate, and uh, followed by aluminum nitride sputtering. Then we use uh, we choose silicon oxide as the hard etching master to define the uh, aluminum nitride. Uh, the aluminum nitride is uh, etched by plasma uh, serum ICBIs we chlorine and boron trichloride gases. After that, we uh, remove the silicon oxide and uh, 
uh, and uh, redeploy the uh, silicon oxide with plasma PCVD and uh, etch it by uh, CHF3 based RE. After that, uh, uh, after the silicon oxide block is, is defined, then we, uh, de then we deploy the, the top I, I, IDTs and uh, release the resonant by xenon difluoride. Uh, the field here involves a uh, much advanced uh, mic micro machining technique like lithography, evaporation, dry etching, and wet etching. And uh, all the fabs are done in a temperature below 350 degrees Celsius, so, um, which is very desirable for same technology. Also, uh, in one round of fab on the same wafer, we are able to fabricate resonator uh, with different frequencies by just uh, changing the pitch width of the resonator. Uh, here are the SEM, SEM picture of the uh, of the of the fabricated of the fabricated resonator. As we see, plot A shows the resonator with silicon oxide block. Plot B shows the zoom in view of the silicon oxide block. Uh, we can see some bending of the resonator body, which is caused by the residual stress of the thin film. Uh, here we give the minimum results of the fabricated resonators. Uh, uh, in the left figure, we give the we give the admittance. Ad uh, we give the admittance uh, re response, and uh, 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 we can see uh, on the on the right uh, on the right table we give the resonance shifting, and uh, by comparing the three D simulation and uh, the measurement, we can find a very good agreement be between the simulation and the measurement. Also, we can see the A zero mode can be successfully uh, placed far away from the band region. Uh, uh, with two micron widths of the silicon side block, we can see uh, the A0 mode here uh, shifts uh, 15 megahertz, while, while, while A0 mode shifts uh, only 5.6 megahertz. Thus, a large spectral spacing of 8.4 megahertz ca uh, can be created be between the two modes. Uh, Finally, by, com by comparing the KD square and the Q, we find there is no KD square and the Q decrease with the attachment of the, of the silicon type blocks. Uh, to conclude, uh, to conclude, a resonator with, with mode mitigation help be help, help be designed, analyzed, fabricated, and characterized. And the mode shifting technique has multiple advantages like like shifting edge spheres mode far away from the S area mode. And the, the, uh, there is a uh, negligible KD square and the Q degradation. And uh, the mode shifting technique it is also a wide band spheres mode mitigation technique. Uh, to conclude, uh, this work uh, demonstrates an e effective uh, technique to mitigate the A0 mode in the resonator. Thank you.